this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing today? Where did you? What did? Anyway, that was a <laughs> that was a, a more dramatic entrance than you normally do. I was just about to go in here and wait for you to come out of that painting. Then you you, you surprised me a little bit there, Lee. I won't lie. Anyway. That means let, let's have our cake on the balcony then for a change then, shall we? Let's have let's have a, a cake picnic, shall we? Out on my balcony. Nom 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 nom. Oh, that is a good breakfast, Lee. That is a very tasty breakfast. Would you like any? Would you like the the final slice? You got two lovely big cherries on there, no? Would you like a would you like a carrot then instead, Lee? Maybe a, a nice little piece of nice little piece of steak, would you? There we go. You can mix them all together. Carrot, cake, and steak. Ha <laughs> ha! It even rhymes. Carrot, cake, and steak. Carrot, cake, and steak. I want, I want to bake. Carrot, cake, and steak. Steak. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh dear, that's probably the worst song ever. Anyway, let's have a let's have a quick game of chase then. A very quick time. And uh, whose turn is it to run? I believe it's your turn. And look, Lee is already running. Right, three, two, one, go! Jump over the cake and oh, oh no, I fell down! I fell down quicker than Lee. Come on, you gotta run, Lee. You gotta run, Lee. Then I'm gonna try and get you. He can pick a direction. I'm gonna wait a few seconds and I. I am off. I am on your tail, Lee. Well, you don't actually have a tail, and uh, if you did have a tail, I wouldn't get on it because that would hurt. But I'm, I'm going after you, Lee. That's all you need to know. And oh, he's, he's run back the same way. That was a bad thing to do there, Lee. Oh, I still missed him. He's jumping across the lily pads, and so did I. Oh, he got away, though. I'm right behind him, though. I am right behind him. He's got in the theatre, and there we go. <laughs> you almost got in the theatre there, Lee. You almost escaped from me, but I was able to catch you. And where have you gone? Have you gone around this way? You're going back around that way? I've lost you again, Lee. Lee, are they <laughs> I think we were running in circles around each other. <laughs> oh, dude, that was, a, that was a good go there, Lee. You were a little bit slippery, but I was able to catch up with you. Uh, anyway, while we're in the area, it might be a good time to add someone to Stampy's Love Garden. And uh, today to my Love Garden, I'm adding the 64th Gamer. And the reason I'm adding the 64th, uh, 64th Gamer is because of some amazing animations that he made for me. Uh, well, he didn't actually make them for me. He just made them themed around some of my videos, uh, mainly around the start of my videos. And you can see uh, a few clips of them on your screen now. Uh, I definitely recommend going to check them out. I thought they were absolutely hilarious. So I wanted to say thank you very much, the 64th Gamer, uh, for sending me these videos and uh, welcome to my love garden and there's gonna of course uh, be a link in the description if you wanted to go and see the uh, the full videos with the audio anyway let's go over to my uh, let's go to my fun land shall we uh, not my fun land sorry what am I on about uh, my dog house there we go let's go to my dog house and uh, let's decide which dog I'm gonna take with me today and hello mittens mittens Mittens, can you see me? Hello, Mitten. Mitt, what? What? What are you doing up here, Mittens? What are you doing out of your bed like this? Are you? Are you? Are you just having a look out here? You know, Mittens. Look, if you come through here, Mittens, have a look at this. Do you know what this is? This is a balcony that I lovingly built for you, and you never use it. You're always just sitting out the the front up here. This isn't a balcony, Mittens. Oh, are you? Are you looking down at the doghouse and waiting for Duncan? Oh, she is. She nodded. Okay, tell you what, then, Mittens, you can join me, and as can Duncan, uh, your your favourite dog out of all of the dogs in here, and they can be uh, accompanying me for the video. And hello, Lee. <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully. The dogs are going to be nice to you today. And oh yeah, there's a cake I left down here in the last episode. Let's eat that up. And right, where's where's Duncan? God, they're growling so loud, aren't they? Uh, here's Duncan sitting down here. I should have guessed. The one Mittens ran right next to. Okay, Duncan, please be nice and don't run after my friend. Oh no, Lee, he's coming. He's coming. Run, Lee. Run, Lee. Run, Lee. Right, we need to run to run to the bank. And then I'm going to go and sit him down over there next to Mittens. <laughs> what has got into my dogs? They always keep running after Lee. I have no idea. Maybe their their minds are being controlled or something. And wait a minute. Why is there why is there a sheep on the top of here? Hello. I guess I guess you jumped up here, didn't you then, sheep? Are you are you having fun up there? Oh, he's having a little dance. Ah, oh, look at the sheep having a little dance up here. Those are some pretty nice moves there, sheep. I won't lie. That was some pretty nice moves. You gonna have another go, sheep? Nope. <laughs> You're just gonna sit there, are you? Okay, well let's let's go down here then, shall we? Here's Duncan there chasing after Lee, and then Mittens chasing after Duncan. We've got a bear being chased by a dog, being chased by a cat, being followed by another big orange cat. <laughs> right, let's go try and sit them all down over here. Uh, Mittens, you can come and sit down here. Duncan, are you gonna join us? There's no point being all shy now, Duncan. You're not gonna come and join us over here? Oh, I think he's there watching Lee, just waiting for his chance to go after him. <laughs> there he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. And sit down. There we go. You can sit down next to Mittens there, and you can just look out at the water and enjoy the day while we get to work continuing to build the Funny Money Bank. And I think I can hear some googlies down here. Uh, as you can see, 
Right, what I've basically done underneath this whole area, and yep, here are the googlies, here are the googlies, whoa, nicely done, Lee. Yeah, I've basically chiseled out uh, this entire area underneath here, uh, because this is where the first challenge is going to be. So, uh, if you didn't see the last video, basically the top there is going to be the main part of the bank, but underneath I'm going to build a vault full of all of my treasures. But to get to the vault, there's going to be a few challenges you need to complete uh, that would hopefully stop any robbers from being able to steal things from my vault. And so the first challenge is going to be a parkour challenge and so Lee's gonna start building the uh, the room down here and uh, while he's doing that I'm gonna hello hello pig how are you doing today <laughs> oh it's because I'm holding a carrot <laughs> did you want a carrot pig is that what you wanted did you come into the bank <laughs> I'd like to uh, make a withdrawal please I'd like one carrot there we go <laughs> oh dear he had some gold in there he had some nine carrot gold <laughs> do you get it I had nine carrots oh don't worry about it don't worry about it anyway let's get to work building this bank then shall we so uh, I need to build, uh, I need to build a, a queue, and so, uh, I don't mean the letter queue, I mean uh, an area where people can queue uh, to get to the front of the bank in case it's very busy. So to do that, I'm going to use a whole load of fences. So if I make a whole load of sticks, I can turn them into a whole load of fences. 24 should be enough, and I can go and make a, a queue, and it's going to be quite compact in here. So uh, you're going to walk in here, and then there's going to be a fence along here, which you need to walk to here. And hello, pig! <laughs> now you've got your carrot, are you going to leave now? Are you, are you happy you've got everything? that you wanted no you want another carrot do you right go on come here come here pig there you go you can have another carrot that's the last you're getting though or is you're going to become a uh, a porky pig and no one wants that <laughs> so then there's going to be the um the next part of the queue uh, leading along to here and then i think this is going to lead to where the actual uh, the actual main counter is going to be and i'm going to be building that out of uh blocks of quartz and so if i build this the whole way along here uh, just like this then I'm gonna have a few openings where there's gonna be some windows there can be one there one there and uh, one there I think and then here oh go on pig you can leave then uh, yeah then here I'm gonna have a door no no more carrots pig no stop stop looking at me with your little piggy eyes I'm not giving you any more carrots or you're gonna become very chubby <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be uh, built up the whole way along here there's gonna be a little doorway there I'm gonna do an iron door there uh, so hopefully no one can break in and I'm also going to add a security mechanism basically because i don't want anyone robbing the bank i'm going to make it so there's going to be some hidden levers behind here so if anyone tries to rob the bank uh, you can pull the lever and it's going to extend some pistons uh, to stop them from getting in so uh, above here i'm going to add some some iron bars and then these blocks are going to be able to to lift up so let me make uh, a little crafting table behind here uh, that i can use to craft all of these things so uh, let me go and make some levers one two three uh, levers and then I need to make some iron bars as well and I think they're around here iron bars uh, there we go I made 16 iron bars you always make loads of iron bars I, I always never need many and I always end up making loads so these are going to be along here then I need to add some sticky pistons down here uh, but I also need to add a very very tiny uh, amount of redstone literally uh, two pieces of redstone I need to place down just to make this work so uh, if I go and do uh, this like this and oh, I forgot how big the <laughs> how big the drop is are you okay down there Lee is it is, is it going okay are you, are you doing all right? <laughs> okay, I can just about see him nodding there. And so this is where the pistons are going to be. And you be careful here, Piggy. I don't want you to fall down. So I'm going to have a piston uh, here. And then I'm going to have another one needs to be underneath here. Watch out for falling rubble down there by the Lee. Uh, by the Lee? By the way, Lee. Maybe you should be wearing a hard hat down here. This might get a little bit dangerous. There's going to be things dropping down. Right, then another piston here. Then I need to add the uh, the redstone uh, underneath here. But I think I need to build uh, from the, uh, the underneath a little bit. So if I go down here and I can probably place some dirt. And if I just place it, oh, can I just about reach? If I just place it there, I should be from up here, be able to place along the side of it. There we go, just like that. And then, oh no, I should have done it on the other side as well. Well, let me just see if this works. So if I put the, the redstone down there, and then if I go and put this block back down there, and then put the lever on there, and then put these blocks down like this. If I pull it, there we go. They get extended up. So all I need to do uh, is do these the same on that side uh, along here. So if I just place that dirt there, 
Uh, I can just use that as a as another marker. Then I can go and place uh, this down there, put that redstone there, put that on there. And I think I only needed two pistons, actually. But if I go and put that block down there, there we go. This is the uh, the security mechanism. So uh, let me go add a door in. Uh, I'm going to, as I said, use uh, an iron door. And right, then that way no one's going to break in. Actually, we need to be able to get behind here, though. So I'm going to do an iron door, uh, but I am going to do some pressure plates. Otherwise, we just won't be able to get behind here at all. <laughs> so let me go and make a, a few pressure plates. I put that down there and then do one pressure plate here. And then one on the other side here, then that way we can get in and out. And so say if a picky here came in and tried to rob the bank, I'd go, no! And I'd pull the lever, then these would all lift up. And then, yeah, he wouldn't be able to, to steal any more carrots. <laughs> oh dear, so I think this is it mainly done up here. I'm going to add, uh, I think, a bit of a counter along here. And I'm going to add some... Oh, hello! Oh, no, he has! He's come to rob the bank! He's come to steal the carrots! <laughs> he jumped through the little hole. I wasn't quick enough pulling the lever. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to do this around here. Then we can add some chests uh, on the top of here, uh, which would have uh, some people's money, uh, as well as the uh, the vault key as well. So let me go and uh, make a few more chests uh, so I can spread these around. I'm going to uh, get rid of that crafting table for now. And uh, if I just nudge you along here a little bit, Piggy, I can go and do that here. Do you want to work here, Pig, actually? Would you like to work here? Tell you what, if you work here, I will pay you in carrots. Does that sound like a deal? There we go. That sounds like a deal. You've got the job, Piggy. <laughs> this is my Piggy Banker. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, I'm going to do a, a few chests around here as well. I'll do a chest there, uh, a chest there, and a chest there for now. And this can be the vault key, then. This is the uh, the vault key, which I'm going to need uh, in order to get to all of my riches. <laughs> and the pig loves working here. Look at him. And uh, the other thing I was going to do uh, was also uh, to decorate the ceiling, was to do some uh, never quartz stairs, uh, just to make the uh, the whole top look a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So let me show you how I was going to do that. I was going to make uh, a whole load of these and just do them all the way around the ceiling like this uh, just to make the uh, the room look a little bit grander because I really love these uh, blocks of quartz and the quartz stairs and stuff because uh, I think it really looks like marble and uh, we don't actually have marble in the Xbox version yet and so this is my the best I can do and excuse me Piggy you can see where I'm trying to place the block <laughs> and I think I mucked one up here so let me get rid of that one and uh, put that down there and I'm going to do the, uh, the same in this room as well all the way along here I'm going to do these along here no no I did that in the wrong place and I can hear Mitten there meowing now outside. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should bring them in. It's just I don't want Duncan to get too close to Lee again. I also don't want them to fall down any holes because uh, that would be disa uh, disa disastrous. 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 That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Mittens is okay with falling, but Duncan isn't. Duncan isn't good at drops. And so here we go. This is what the, uh, the ceiling is going to look like in here. So uh, this is pretty much uh, the way the bank at the top is going to look. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is hop downstairs and leave you in charge, Piggy, and uh, go and have a look downstairs and see what's going on uh, down here. Here we go. This is looking pretty good. Uh, where, where's where, where's Lee? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Busy up the top up there. And so Lee's building uh, all of the walls. Uh, I'm going to hop up here and try and uh, help him out a little bit. We need to build uh, these up the whole way around here. And so as you can see, it's pretty much uh, all going to be made out of stone bricks. Uh, just because I think that would be kind of cool, like the uh, the tunnels leading towards the uh, the vault. I think it will be made out of stone will make it look quite cool. And I think the uh, the ceiling's going to be a uh, smooth stone though. And so what I'm going to do is just a, a parkour puzzle. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is by using uh, never brick fences uh, as well as... um. As well as uh, like uh, redstone lanterns as well, because uh, I think that would look quite cool. Then I'm actually going to put uh, pressure plates on the uh, on the top of the redstone lanterns. Uh, so whenever you land on a block, uh, the block is going to light up, and I think that would look quite cool. So let me just uh, extend this out here a little bit. This is basically uh, the platform uh, that you're going to stand on when you first get in, and so you can have a little run up before you go and start jumping. And then I'm going to start trying to to add in some of the parkour. I need to make a a few more stone bricks though. Uh, so uh, in my tradition, I'm going to make way too many crafting tables and leave them all over the place <laughs> just so I can make a, a few more stone bricks. I can make a whole load of these so I can go and fill this in here. Then yeah, I'm going to start doing the uh, uh, the parkour and I'm just going to kind of uh, make it up as I go. I don't want it to be too difficult. I need to make sure that I can do it. Uh, but the plan is that not everyone will be able to do it. So hopefully it will be enough of a challenge that people won't uh, rob the bank. So uh, I'm going to use, as I said, these never brick fences. And I'm going to pile these up uh, to, make the, uh, to make the jump. So let's say have the first jump about here. And the problem with fences is it's difficult to, to climb up on them. But if I do it leading up to about uh, there. And then if I put the redstone lantern on top, does that look like a, a doable jump? 
Oh, it's quite a it's quite a difficult one for the first one actually. I think it'd be okay though. Uh, so let me just see if this is doable. So I, I just want to put the redstone lantern on there, and then I need to make a a wooden pressure plate as well, uh, which I'm going to put on top. Actually, I might do a I might do a stone one actually. I think the stone ones might look a little bit cool here. So let me make uh, a whole load of these. There we go. I've got eight of them, and uh, that should be enough for now. And I can hear something going on. There's a is there a skeleton around here? Oh, I think Lee's asking me about where the ceiling is. I think the ceiling needs to be a little bit higher than that, maybe Lee. Uh, just so when we're jumping up and down. Uh, we don't end up banging our banging our heads on the ceiling. So yeah, there we go. If I stand on this, uh, you can see it's there lit up. Well, now let me see if I can make that jump from here. I need to make sure every jump I can do because I'm not very good at parkour, as I'm sure many of you know. So <laughs> I need to make sure it's possible for me to do. And that does look uh, rather difficult. And there we go. I managed to do it though. I managed to make the first jump. There we go. One down. And then I might do the next one actually on the wall over here. And so uh, you then need to go and make this jump up to here. There we go. I managed to do that one as well. And I might do this next one on the wall, uh, maybe about here. Does that look like I could do it? That looks like a difficult one, but there we go. I managed to do that one as well. And then I might sort of loop back down here somewhere and do another one on a, on a fence pole. So let me just drop down here for now. And I might do the next one uh, around here, uh, but do it a little bit higher up. So I'm going to have to use the, uh, the dirt to pile up again. Uh, just to pile up next to it so I can place down the fences. So I want to go uh, a little bit higher. Actually, I need to make sure... Uh, actually, I'm going to do a little bit to the side because I need to make sure that you couldn't just skip out all of the rest. I want to make sure that you can't jump straight to it from, from that one. So uh, let me get rid of this dirt and let me maybe make it a little bit further this way. Maybe do it here. Uh, actually, let's do it. Let's do it one further away to make it a little bit more difficult. So I don't want it to, to be quite tough. And let's do it from here and pile this up and just make it a uh, one block higher than the other one. Uh, so we're going to be gradually making our way up because the uh, the aim of the game is at the top there. We're going to have a little doorway uh, leading basically to the to the next room, which is where you're going to be trying to get to. Then in the next room, we're going to have even more challenges, and there's going to be uh, probably about three or four different challenges uh, that you need to complete uh, until you're able to to get to the to get to the the vault. So it's not going to be the easiest way <laughs> to get to my money, but uh, yeah, it should be a uh, quite a good fun way to do it. As so if I do that there, this should hopefully uh, be doable. So I need to add some, I need to add some ladders up here so I can get back up. If I just quickly grab that crafting table, I can make a, a few ladders here. And then this way I'm going to be able to, to climb my way back up when I fall down. And this is eventually all going to be filled in here as well. So it doesn't look quite so messy. And Lee is doing an amazing job building all of that. <laughs> I just added a few fences upstairs and he's managed to build like this entire thing down here. So I'm um, very impressed. Lee. I know you're working very hard. I'll give you a, a treat later on. Anyway, let's see if I can do these jumps. That one is, oh, that one's difficult. As a first jump, that is a very tough one. I know I can do it though because I did it earlier. Oh, nope, I can't do it now though. Come on, I need to get a big run up. And jump! There we go. Managed to make it. Then to this one. And then to this one. That's not too hard. And then up to this one. Oh no, I missed that one. I missed that one there. I'm not sure if it's doable. I think it is. I think I might have just done it a little bit rubbish. There we go. I got to that one first go. Now this one. Now this one. Mm, there we go. I was able to make it. And so now I can sort of go a little bit back this way. And maybe head in that direction. Because there's no way uh, you'll be able to jump that high from there. So uh, let's go along... Uh, along to about here I think and uh, let's go and do the next one here so it's going to be the same height as that one uh, but just a, a little bit further away and then I'm going to go and lead over to this wall here where we can have a, a few more on this uh, wall over here so let me go and uh, pile this up and make it so it's the the same height as that fence there I think that should do it and this jump should should be possible I think I'm just going to build a few and then just see if I can go and do the whole thing and uh, see if there's any that aren't possible so let's do that one to there and now this one can actually go uh, a little bit lower uh, but be down here somewhere. Um, I don't want it to be too close to there because I don't want you to be able to make your way straight to it. Uh, but I guess if I do it uh, about here, I could do it. Uh, actually, I might do it to like, I might do it to here and do it quite a bit lower. Actually, no, because then you'll be able to jump straight from there. It's tricky. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you're not going to be able to, to cheat as you do this. But I think uh, maybe doing it uh, here would be okay. And then you could jump from there. And if I just do it one lower, because it's going to be difficult because of how high you are, they might actually start banging their head, which might be the, the difficulty. So I think if I do it to here and have it just uh, one lower down uh, than that last one, it shouldn't be too difficult of a jump. But then the next one could be trying to jump uh, into the, the wall somewhere. So let me go and put that pressure plate on. And then let me go and do the, the next one along here somewhere. And I might do this one about there. Does that look doable? Oh, yep, that's definitely doable. 
do. I might actually do that uh, one higher if I can. If I do that one up to there, then that could be the, the next jump. And that looks doable. And so let me go and pile up here and put the uh, the pressure plate on. Then I'm going to go and do uh, another one next to it. So let me do that one there. Then I'm going to do another one, uh, which can be... Oh, look, look how close you are to banging your head here, actually. Right, I might actually just do this next one. So it's here. So you've got to try and sprint across and get to there. And then I'm going to do the, the next one a little bit lower down here somewhere. And then I'm going to do it uh, leading up to the end. And then we can uh, both have a little test to go and see if we're going to be able to, to make it to the uh, make it to the end. So this next one uh, is going to be here and uh, a little bit lower down, I think. And so let me just go and uh, pile up uh, so I'm able to put the redstone lantern on. And uh, if you maybe put some some torches around the place, Lee, uh, maybe light it up. I know there are quite a few, but they're all... <laughs> kind of all of all over the place in like crazy areas so let's do that that next one actually i might do this one a little bit lower so otherwise it might be too difficult when you bang your head so let me do this one uh down to here and then let me go and put the pressure plate oh no i think i've run out of pressure plates actually uh, do you have any um any smooth stone you can throw to me at all lee any any spare smooth stone uh, there we go. So I can use this to, to make myself a, a few more uh, pressure plates. Because uh, I don't, I, I could use wooden ones, but I think I'd rather keep it all the same. I do like the uh, the stone ones down here. So let's go and make uh, a bunch more of these, and then do the the final few jumps. And let's see if this is actually even possible. And I'm actually <laughs> not really sure if it is, but we will give it a go. We will give it a go. I might not be the best person in the world to test it, uh, seeing as I'm generally not very good at this kind of stuff. But uh, I'll give it a go anyway. So let's do this next one here. And then let's do another one up, let's say, uh, here. And then that could be where the uh, the doorway is. So uh, if I just do uh, a hole there and a hole there, uh, that can that can mark where you're trying to get to. And oh, no. <laughs> Looks like I failed that jump already. Let me just pile up. And so that's going to be the the end point. That's going to be where where we're trying to get to. So let me just go and fill in the, the little holes that I made. And uh, let's just pretend that that's a doorway to, to something better than a bit of dirt. Let's just dig through a little bit then. There we go. This is the, the challenge. I need to put a I need to put a prize up here. What can the, the prize be? The prize can be a carrot. <laughs> that pig's going to come back down now and try and do this as well because he wants to win the carrot. <laughs> right, so let's get rid of this dirt here. Uh, let me just go and uh, I won't eat a carrot then. I'll, I'll eat a piece of steak. And then we can then we can go and uh, give it a go. Uh, what, what's wrong with that one, Lee? Is there, there not a pressure plate on it? Or do you just think it's too difficult? You think it's you think it's impossible. Well, let's give it a go then. Let's give it a go. I think I could do it. I think if I put my mind to it, I could do it. But you can go first, Lee. Go on, you can lead the way and uh, show me what you can do. I think Lee might be right though. I think that one might be too difficult. I think because you you bang your head might be the problem, right? Give it a go, Lee. I'm gonna have a go afterwards as well. But if not, I can try and change it. Nope, no. no. <laughs> I think you might be right, Lee. All right, let, let me have one more try at it. Uh, if it doesn't work, I might have to move it a little bit closer, maybe. Maybe just move it a little bit. Let me just move it a little bit lower, actually. So if I just go and do it uh, down to there, you can see all your arrows dropping now, Lee. So if I just go and move it down to here. And this is why we're testing it. This is why we're, we're testing it out. It might not be perfect first go, uh, but if it isn't perfect, you can just go and redo it again and then make it perfect. That's how you uh, you make the, uh, the best things. You might not do it perfect on your first try, but then you keep trying and trying again until it is perfect. Right, let's have a go then, shall we? I can't even do that first jump now. <laughs> It is a tricky one to start with. Right, go on, Lee. Show me how it's done. Show me how to be the master. Oh, he's doing well. He's doing well. Okay, wait there one second, Lee. I'm going to go and try and join you if I can. I can't do that first jump. The first jump. Right. Big run up. Jump. There we go. And then these ones are pretty easy. And oh, no, it's not. I got stuck in the wall. <laughs> I got caught one of the bricks on the wall. There's a there's a loose brick there, Lee. I blame you for that one. You did some some bad brick work there. That, 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 that was the reason. My tail got stuck in one of the cracks, you see. <laughs> Oh dear, right, come on, big jump. There we go. Jump again and jump again. There we go. Okay, go on. See if you can do that jump now, Lee. It still might be a little bit too difficult because I think your head might be a bit too close. Yeah, I think I might need to move this one down a little bit. If I move that one down to there and then put a uh, another pressure plate on top, this might be uh, this might work now. Then so let me jump to here. And then we jump to the next one. There we go. Now you can do it. Now you can get to here. Then you jump up to this one. Now this one's tough because you just got to sprint. And oh no, I fell down. <laughs> That's another tough one. It's really tough when you're uh, you're close to the ceiling because uh, you end up just banging your head and not being able to make it right. Oh no, that that first one again. <laughs> I might have to make that first one easier. And oh look, look how far Lee's got. Go on, can you do it? This is the this is the tricky one, Lee. Got to try and sprint across. And oh no, he sprinted too fast. He made it across, but he kept on running and fell off on the other side. <laughs> Come on. We we got to do it, Lee. We've got to be able to, to make it to the end. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, the carrot's going to disappear soon. We can't lose the carrot. 
<laughs> oh dear. And was that, was that an ender pearl, Lee? <laughs> We're gonna be doing it by jumping, right. Come on, I can do this, I can do this. Once I've got that first jump, I think I'll be okay. There we go. Oh no, I jumped over it. I got too excited because I made it and ended up jumping off the other side. <laughs> this is starting to hurt me and all. Oh, oh, oh no, I fell off it. <laughs> I am the worst of this in the world. Right, okay, full concentration, full concentration, Lee. Okay, ready, big jump. There we go. Oh no, I fell off again. It's so slippy. <laughs> oh dear. At least you're doing just as bad as me, Lee. I don't feel so bad. Here we go. I made that first tricky jump. These ones aren't too tough. This one... This one, this one. Okay, here's the tricky one here, though, because you're right up against the ceiling. And oh, no, I fell down. I tried to crouch. I tried to sprint, jump across, then crouch right on the other side so I wouldn't go too far, but it still didn't work. Right, here we go. We're getting we're getting better at this beginning bit now, though. And oh, no, Lee fell down on that one. This one is... Oh, no, I fell down before it. <laughs> I think we're gradually getting worse. You'd think after all of this practicing, we would be slowly getting better. But I think we are slowly, well, quickly getting worse. Right, this is a tough one. There we go. Next one, easy. This one, right, here's the tricky one. Go across. Oh, no, I fell down. I know it's doable. I know that one's doable. We are just doing rubbish at it. Okay, Lee, go on, show me how it's done. Show me how it's done. Can you do it? Can you get to the next one? There we go. He managed to do it. Okay, Lee, got to be careful now. Watch your head jump down to that next one there. Can you do it? Yes, he's done it. Now jump across to the next one. You've only got two more jumps to go. The final jump. Oh, we did a spin. This one's tough, though. This one is very, very tough. The final jump. I'm not even sure if this one's possible. Yeah, he managed to do it and he gets the carrot. Well done, Lee. You are obviously better at doing this than I am. Well done. <laughs> I'm going to go and stay up all night practicing to see if I can do it. But sadly, we have just about run out of time in this episode. And should I just cheat then, Lee? Should I just cheat and end up up then? And there we go. Oh, no, I can't even do it. I can't even cheat. That's how bad I am. And oh, no, I'm in the wall. I'm in the wall. And I fell down. Ow. Okay, I'm not going to cheat anymore. I'm not going to cheat anymore. That didn't end up very well. <laughs> that is the end of this episode here. <laughs> in the next episode, we're going to start building the, the next room uh, on the, uh, the road to my vault. But that's the end of this episode here. As I said, I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye.